Ha! Ah, the sun! It's showing itself. Finally. It's been pouring rain all morning. Okay, ladies. Yes. Brindle, leave it. Leave it. Inca, leave it. Good dogs. Maya, come on. Let's go check their hay. Come on, girls. Wood chips here. Hopefully that'll stabilize the ground so it's not so slippy when I next have to get hay. Let's check the hay bale. Quick. The sun goes in amongst the clouds again. Here's the bale. They've done a good bit of damage to it, but they last about a week. And what? I put this here Wednesday. This is Sunday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five. And there is about two more days worth of um, feed in there. So seven days of feeding in a round bale of hay, approximately. So they'll have, I'll have to bring them in another one, not tomorrow, but the following day. What is that? Tuesday. No, today's Monday. No, today's Sunday. Jeez. My head's gone rocked. Don't know what day of the week it is anymore. The ewes have finished their meal and are making their way back into the orchard. Hey girls. Yeah. Wind's picking up again. There was a lot of wind last night, and I think there's due to be more tonight. They're making their way over to the water trough. Have a sup of water. I love our moss covered trees. They're so beautiful. And look, we even have ferns on our trees. Ferns there and ferns up there. So this tree is, was planted in the 1940s. Look at the, um, moss and the lichen. I love that there's ferns in some of our trees. This was probably one of the last trees my grandfather planted here in the orchard. It's not doing so well. Partially because it's shadowed by this huge apple tree. So you can see it's leaning out from where it was planted. So it's struggled its whole life, poor tree. Now I just put a little bit of hay in here because they don't need it. They've got loads of hay over in the round bale. 
but all the girls have decided to go in there to eat the little bit of hay I put in. Oh, maybe they've decided to move. Hey, girly pearlies. How are you? Ah, 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 leave it. Dogs, be kind. Oh, you've got so much mud between your feet, you're gone lame. That's the problem with the bark chip, is it can sometimes put uh, a chip of bark in between their toes. And they go, ow, 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 ow. And then it'll come out, Java, no, leave it. Good boy, leave it, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're feeling so much better. Everybody was worried about you, including me. Much better puppy. Much healthier. Had to go to the vet a couple of days ago. But as you can see, he's full of beans again. And little guess as to who this is. Little bit. Come on, little bit. Brindle, leave her. Come on, little bit. My Brindle, leave her be. Good girl, a little bit. Very mucky. Very mucky indeed at the gateway. These are, these girls, a lot of them are recovering from being lame. And the two girls with the uh, allergy to St. John's wort. I'm going to let the horses out now. Hey, girls. Oh, they've gotten excited. Easy, easy, Janie. it is. The ground is so wet. The only dry place is up on a gate. Isn't that right, kitty? How are you? <coughs> yeah, I know. I agree. It's very wet. Very wet indeed. Hey, kitty. You have to go backwards. There you go. You gonna come in? Come on. Yes. Oh, you're wet. Oh, you're wet. It's chilly out there.
It's not even eight o'clock and fireworks are going off. You can see the horses are listening. Glad I just got them in before they all started off. They're in that direction, the direction of the city. Never girl.